becoming a 3D print master. Welcome to the review. Today we're reviewing this A1 printer by Bamboo Labs and I'm so excited to show this to you. This review is going to be for somebody who's never owned a 3D printer before and is looking to get into the 3D print game. If you're familiar with 3D printing, you know the wonders and amazement that Bamboo Labs has to offer. Okay, so let's go over some basic features first. Let's go over the build plate size. It is 10 inches by 10 inches. We'll call it a standard build plate. Most mid-sized 3D printers have this size build plate. You're going to be able to print pretty much anything that you see that is out there uh, that your hearts desire. All the dragons and stuff like that are all printed on a bigger build plate like this. You can do smaller uh, dragons and stuff like that on the A1 Mini, but to get that size of the things that you see uh, that probably got you curious about 3D printing in the first place, this is a good size build plate. Next, let's talk about how quiet it is. Yes, that's pretty much whisper quiet. You can have this thing out in your living room. You can show it off to your friends. It's really light. You can, you can pick it up. It's, it, it's really light. Uh, it, but I just love how whisper quiet it is. I'll bring these things out here during the day and just kind of watch them go. It, it feels like a living bonsai tree. I don't know. It, it's pretty cool. Let's talk about the ease of use of this thing. If you use a Cricut or anything simple like that, it is so simple. A couple touch of a buttons, you're into the menu system. You can see exactly how long the stuff has left to go. Uh, you can calibrate the machine here. You can find the last few uh, prints that you've done on here. It's printing now, so I can't really go through the menus. You can do all the stuff right here with a touch of a button. You do not need any kind of crazy computer education at all to be able to operate the A1. So the A1 does have some features. You, you see when you see the write-ups of the specifications, you see like flow calibration and stuff like that. Well, what does that mean? Well, it, it, it kind of handles, the, we'll call it the piping. This is pretty much a glorified, uh, we'll call it a hot glue gun coming out of this thing, you know, and it's, it's pushing out, you know, filament piping. And uh, it's really able to regulate the flow of the head, uh, causing really smooth prints, like the print quality on some of this stuff. You can see it's pretty dang smooth and it is noticeable throughout brands. We do have some other brands of 3D printers. We've had 3D printers for about eight years now and you can really tell the, the, the difference in the print quality. Look how smooth that looks in there. Look at that. That is a Bamboo Labs printer quality print combined with Bamboo Labs filament and their filament is good. And that is pretty dang smooth. The quality is amazing. I just printed these Grinch earrings last night for our show. That's coming up pretty soon. And look how great these look. So right now I'm printing one color. The A1 out of the box will print one color. Super, super cool. Super, super simple. But what if you want to do multicolor prints? I'm about to show you how you can do that with this machine right now. Okay, so over here I have another A1, and I have the four color AMS unit hooked up to the system here. It's super easy. Three more tubes, one little plug in the back, no extra power needed, super awesome. I finished printing these dragon wings here in multicolor, which means, let's see if I can pop it off the plate here. Ooh, that's so rewarding, by the way. Just popping things off the plate. It is one piece with multicolors on there. It takes a lot longer to print, but we have a multicolor prints on one machine. Super cool. I do love that feature of the, of the A1. Uh, at first, I had the A1. And then I purchased, later on, I purchased the AMS upgrade as my skills improved and I wanted to do more multicolor stuff. Okay, so what is the difference between the A1 and the A1 Mini? So first of all, obviously there's a bigger build plate. This one comes in at 10 inches, where the A1 Mini comes in at 8 inches. I did have an A1 Mini at first, and recently for my birthday, I graduated to the A1. Why, Dan? Well, because mostly I wanted just a bigger build plate. Some of the things that you're gonna see if you're new to this, you're gonna desire to print bigger things after a while. You're gonna be stuck printing one item on an angle where I could get maybe four of these Charizards on one build plate on the A1, saving a little bit of, of, of babysitting time, if you will. The bed may heat up a little bit faster on the A1 than the A1 Mini. Print times are a tad bit quicker, but it has the same head, the same technology, the same flow calibration, the same quietness. It is so quiet. It is quiet. I, I think that you could just leave this in your living room. I, I bring these out of here all the time just to watch them print because they're so fun just to, just to watch print. Otherwise, there is no difference between the A1 and the A1 Mini. Just bigger, newer technology. All right, let's really get up close here and check this out. See how quiet it is. It looks super cool. I have so much fun with this thing. This will be done in about six hours and 45 minutes. So fun. Here's some of the other stuff we've printed with it. 
robot pieces that have been put together to a cool robot, cool dinosaurs. I love it. Another thing I really like is the small footprint. The A1 doesn't really take up that much room at all. This counter space is plenty to run this machine. It would do good on a big bookshelf, provided it's sturdy. Another thing I really do like is the Bamboo Labs ecosystem. It is easy to troubleshoot anything online. People have upgrades, people have modifications, people have gone through it all. So there's answers for anything that you need. And there it is, fresh out of the 3D printed oven. I just got a notification on my phone saying that it's done. We'll let this cool for just a little bit and pop it off the tray. Success. All right, and my favorite part of the 3D printing process is prying it off the plate. It's so fun. It's got that cool cracking sound. I like it. And there you go. Nice lawn dragon you've seen these before you've seen them at all the craft fairs and on the TikToks. you can make them yourself this came out really good i love it and you could you could love it too so there you have it i really enjoy this bamboo labs a1 printer and i think you will too i think you will too this is makes a great gift it's so hard to find anything for anybody these years right everybody always asks me dan what do you want for christmas i don't know i don't know you know what i want this year i want more filaments i want another build plate i want some more heads i need some stuff for my 3d printer because i'm having so much fun with this printer and i think you can too i recommend this